Recently, I was facilitating a service recovery or customer de-escalation workshop for a tech company. And as we discuss keywords and phrases to use that have a calming effect on the customer, we also spent considerable time sharing things that you should never say to an upset customer. So in this segment, I'm also sharing my top 10 list of things you should never ever say to an upset, angry customer. I'm counting down to number 10. And if I leave out any words or phrases that you believe should definitely be part of this list, share them in the comment section. So let's start with number one, which is to never say, I'm new to an upset, angry customer. While this might be true, guess what? The customer really doesn't care. Number two, we should never say, I don't know. Again, maybe you really don't know, but to the customer, this always comes across as lazy and highly incompetent. Instead, an alternative phrase to say might be something like, I apologize, I don't know, but let me find out for you. Number three, you should never say, that's against our policy to an upset customer. This will definitely intensify their anger. Instead, an alternative phrase to say might be something like, here's what I can do. Number four, if an upset customer requests your assistance, you should never say, I can't do that. You see, there will be times when a customer requests something that is totally outside of your realm of responsibility. Again, in those instances, a better response might be something like, well, what I can do is. And number five, if an angry customer approaches you for assistance, never say, we're short staffed. Again, this might be true, but it's irrelevant to the customer. Instead, politely advise the customer that you will be with them shortly and try to break away from what you are doing as soon as possible to assist them. And in continuing our countdown to the top 10 things you should never ever say to an upset customer, we're now at number six, which is to never say, that's not our fault. Again, in that moment, the last thing the customer is thinking about is whose fault it is. Saying that will only intensify their anger. Instead, you should sincerely apologize and say, let me see what I can do. Number seven, when responding to an upset customer, never say, that's not my job. If you do, I guarantee the customer will go ballistic. An alternative response might be something like, let me find someone who can assist you with this. And number eight, if a customer comes to you with a complaint, never say, so what do you want me to do? Instead, a better way of responding might be to say, I apologize, how can I fix this for you? Okay, so now we're down to number nine, which is to never say, you're right, that does stink. <laughs> this is the wrong way to express sympathy, and some customers will definitely take offense to this statement. Instead, an alternative phrase might be something like, I'm so sorry, you must be frustrated. Let me see what I can do. And finally, number 10, the most egregious thing that you can ever say to an upset customer is, calm down, sir, or calm down, ma'am. You see, in most cases, this will definitely escalate an already tense situation. Instead, sincerely apologize and let them know that you will work quickly to resolve their issue. So there you have it, my top 10 things that you should never ever say to an upset customer. And guess what? I also gave you alternative words and phrases to use to de-escalate the situation and to regain that customer's loyalty, trust, and their respect. And again, if you feel that I've left out any additional comments that you think should never be said, take a minute to write them down in the comments section. Thanks so much for viewing this presentation and have a great day. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. As you can see, we have lots of great content for you to enjoy. So click to watch the next video and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to always get my latest tips and best practices for raising the bar and elevating the customer experience from average to extraordinary. Most of all, if there's any additional insight or words of wisdom that you'd like for me to share, or if you'd like to suggest future topics, take a moment and jot them down in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.